right, let's see the worst haircuts in the NBA history. Talking about boy. All right. Okay, that's how we starting off. <laughs> I wonder if I would be up there. I think I'm like top worst haircuts. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Oh God, those are some bad haircuts. I mean, now, if what if I told you? It gets even worse. I already know this about to be stupid. Because, hey, if my boy, who, who play now with that fr frelet? If you're not on These here, are the this worst is um, haircuts in NBA if my boy with that history. frelet ain't, ain't on here, yeah, I already know this about to be. His hairline was pretty crispy in college. Oh, yeah, he had that slick. The second NBA season, he had that slick. Got bad. He, had he a was damn only 22 cat. years old, and he was completely bald. So Dang. you can't get worse than that, right? Dang. You have no hair on your head. How can you have a bad now, haircut? Now my man put like a well, slick oil slick on his joint. I the remember case. that. Because <laughs> in a game between the Bulls and Celtics, the camera zoomed in on Boozer. It just probably leak. Saw still keeps me up at night. <laughs> what is that? This man got a sharpie. And just doodled on his head. He really thought we wouldn't notice. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, he was but a pioneer. He pioneered his stuff. Carlos's haircut wasn't so bad. The NBA had to ban it. Dang. Ron Shumpert, that's exactly what happened. What he do? See, when he was drafted to the Knicks in 2011, the only thing people could talk about was his ridiculous high top fade. I mean, the hair was so eye catching that it just wanted to do a shoe deal with him. And what better way to celebrate the deal? Did they, did they, they name the Adidas logo? Did they ban a hot top fit? The back of your oh, yeah. you can't do and that. He even showed up to a game with the Adidas logo in his hair. You can't but do that. The very next day, Shumpert's phone rang, and it was NBA Commissioner David Stern. And let's just say, oh yeah, David Stern didn't think this haircut was crispy. Stern is they dropping bit. hammer on dudes. According to NBA rules. You're only allowed to wrap brands on your shoes. So, Shumpert was forced to get rid of the logo. And it left the man looking like this. Damn. Dang. Really made this man shave the logo out of his head. That's it's messed petty. up. Now, That's petty wild. Though, NBA players that wasn't a trash logo. That means more than just fixing a hairline or repping oh, a brand. Boy. Some hairstyles are heartbreaking. <laughs> Ooh, LeBron. Lockers. LeBron on joint. Draft night, when Lonnie was called up by Adam Silver as Don't the get that Ginobili. picked by the Spurs, he walked on stage, put on his new team's hat, and shook the commissioner's hand. Oh, he had the shade at his own? usual. But because of his ridiculous hair, the man's hat looked like it was floating above him. Like, that's not Photoshop. It's literally what it looked like. So, you know, Twitter did its thing, and they turned the man into a meme overnight. And it didn't stop there. Because now that he's in the NBA, the dude's hair was on full display for millions of people to see. Nearly every single night, this meme became inescapable. And get that damn camera out my face. Constant pain for Lonnie. Why is that a pain? So it only took two seasons until he got fed up. He decided it was time to cut all the hair. Oh, before you, setting the record straight. Oh, uh, so what did he say? He posted a video on Instagram cutting his hair. And with that, there was a caption that told a heartbreaking story he'd never told the world before. You on that Illuminati? He told huh? a traumatic event from his childhood, where he was abused by a family member, and being that young, he wasn't able to understand the impact that this would have on him for life. Damn. After that night, he decided the only way he could take back control was with his hair. It may seem weird, but everyone deals with trauma differently mm. you know it's an emotional thing and, and you just got to respect how people get through it even if it doesn't you know make sense to you but, hey man uh, respect Javel that man McGee he on that Illuminati, man i'm starting to think this dude just likes to get roasted you don't know people's story back when he joined the warriors in 2016 he got a haircut so bad oh he had that little rat tail stuff clay and katie he had that rat tail didn't he? what this man was thinking but uh he showed up to his barber and got this. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Little this baby man's rat. barber did him dirty. Nah. Do you know why he did him dirty? 
Cause he didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. We got every barber <laughs> in the country on payroll. You're really and shaving it. If you like subscribe it. to Rebound, they know what to do. So yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> uh, anyways, he, he do shaving Kadeel a freaking monkey. It got even worse. He took this weird ass rat tail strip in the back of his head and got it braided. Ugh, like, what is this? Hey, man. Even Draymond had a clown the dude. What That's the just nasty, man bro. But That's just nasty. JaVale shut everyone up. Because when he won a championship, he had to rub it in on Twitter, saying, I'm the only person with a rat tail and an NBA championship. <laughs> Let that sink in. Yo, you just hey, got, dog, you got troll the trollers, man. To proud of. It's not. You got to the trollers. It don't it's matter. It's to hair. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, dude, rock your hair. Hey, dude, but rock your hair however you I want, bro. I think bro. Alfred Payton might have taken some inspiration from JaVale. Because he vowed to never cut his hair until he won a championship. Wow. Problem is. He on the Knicks? He's on the Knicks. <laughs> so You're going to get traded, playboy. No, this isn't going to end well. Yeah. See, when Payton was in high school, him and his team agreed that no one could get a haircut until they were holding a trophy. Ooh. And, uh, these guys obviously wanted some fresh lineups because the team went 30 and four, but just one went away from the championship game. The team got knocked out mm. and they were devastated. But as heartbreaking as this was, Peyton's teammates still hit up their barber and they all got faded. Okay. But Peyton, he was different. Oh, Peyton no got ring, something crazy going no on in his head. Well, this became the best decision that he ever made. Because that year, Peyton committed to the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and finally got the recognition he deserved. Except it wasn't for his skill. Yeah, he was putting up 16 points, five rebounds, and five assists oh, per that's game. Hard. But that's tough. it was his hair that made him stand out so much. No cut for me. A staple for the school. And in 2014, Peyton was drafted with the 10th pick to the 76ers, immediately getting traded to the Magic. All right, so imagine this. You gotta pack with yourself to never cut your hair until you win a championship. <laughs> you went now to the, you gotta do that. Hey, you better get on it. With the Magic. You ain't gonna do it with the Magic. the worst teams in the NBA. You better get, hey. Oh, but it gets a lot worse You better go sign that. with them next. You ended up spending four seasons with the Magic. And, uh... Yeah, they didn't win a championship. You better sign with so the Nets. His hair went Oh, wild. hell no. Like, what the hell even is this? Hold on, Rush. You just How got crossed like that? So, his hair went wild. Uh oh. Like, what he, the hell he even is this? Foot. How can you even play basketball with this thing on your head? How can you oh, shoot wait, like that? He couldn't. Sometimes, it would literally block his own shots. Things got so bad. It was all anyone could talk about. He has yes, the yes. worst hair in the NBA. <laughs> How much fun do y'all have with this hair every day at practice? All right, Chuck. Uh, Chill out, dog. You sound a little jealous. You ain't got a hair on your head, bro. Yeah, no man. Dudes with no hair, no, bro. They're going to say whatever. Peyton was tired of getting do, it, do what you said, want with your hair, Taylor. Like, the last question gone. I get is That's all I gotta how say. my hair looks like this. It's just how my hair grows. But I'm going to have to cut it soon because I'm over the questions about it. So, in 2018, it finally happened. Dang, Let's you do out? Do it, do it. You done? Ugh, that look nasty. I bet that stink too, huh? <laughs> okay, he fresh now. He fresh. Thank God, man. Because uh, he's playing for the Knicks now. I don't know how long it would have grown for. The thing would have looked like a damn tree on his head. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, for some NBA players, Black party. Uh -oh. they wish they had hair like Peyton. Uh oh, LeBron, he's definitely one of those players. Hey, don't go, the don't come. Started off with a pretty solid head of hair. Don't come for the goat. Don't the come from. By, don't come for the king. I mean, hair has become mysterious. <sighs> one day it's a beautiful full head of hair. Oh boy. And the next, he's got a damn penny on his head. <laughs> I mean, as the years went on, his hairline just keeps getting worse and worse. It just keeps getting and weirder. Worse, but somehow. LeBron's hairline has made bounced a comeback. back. Yeah, made forward. it. I don't even know. Like, can someone tell me how you go from balding to this? Greatest comeback of NBA well, history was LeBron's not on the court. LeBron's barber insisted that this comeback <laughs> was LeBron hair. completely natural. But uh, let's be real here, dog. Come on, man. No one buying that nonsense. We all saw what happened in 2019, LeBron. You can't hide from the truth. <laughs> but here in 2021. It weirdly made a full comeback. 
That bit flopping. dropped the Space Jam 2 trailer on Instagram, and he had a glorious full head of hair. Mwah. Yeah, That's right. beautiful work, Warner Bros. I ain't seen CGI this good since Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, right. LeBron's not giving up on his hair anytime soon. It clearly means a lot to him. But LeBron's not the only player whose hair means a lot He don't want to be like Mike. LaMelo Ball. Bro, he just cut, just go, just so do it Baldy. Just do Mike. He, he don't want to be like Mike. Cut it for years. Until one day, his family put their foot down. Back in high school, LaMelo was making a name for himself. And as he became the star point guard for Chino Hills, in just three years, they made his him cut hair it? completely transformed. He went from this baby face kid to, well, a baby face kid with a mop on his head. <laughs> a mop top. By 2018, Things started getting out of control on Dang, his Dang, they made him cut it. his brothers and his dad were tired of his ridiculous hair. So they paid a barber to come to their Chino Hills mansion. And everybody in the house forced LaMelo to shave it all off. Dang. Get your haircut, bro. I don't trust him, Vic. I know he knows what he's doing. It's definitely time for Melo to hit that reset button. I don't need a haircut, though. Yes, you do need a haircut. I, I'm an appointment. Uh, oh, daddy come God. put his foot down. He lied. Come on, Melo, let's do it, baby. I'll give you hundred dollars. Five hundred. I'll give you a hundred. I'll give you a hundred. Six hundred. Deal. Seven hundred is my final offer. I'll go balls for that. Are you doing this, sir? Why, <laughs> Dad? Your brother put so much pressure on your hair. It's over. It wasn't even pressure. They forced me to. Dang. Do, bro. I like his head. Dang. I don't like when he wakes up and it's smashed up against his head. Yeah, welcome back home, son. You ain't got that Lithuanian look. Damn, that's dirty. He growing it back though. You looking fresh though. Nah, y'all took his swag. <laughs> he took his swag. He had to die that thing too. My forehead too small now. Damn. I know LaMelo was sad about this, but there is a bright side. He won it back. NBA legends he good money. have long hair. Just look at Shaq, MJ, Charles, even Kobe realized. Get out of here. <laughs> had to go. So, you know, I guess the Ball family. Bro, was you got it. They did that money. late in their career, but, though. They tried to save he it. He doesn't really do what his family says. So, this dude's hair is already long as hell, just three years later. Nah, he's an F that. I'm getting that back. <laughs> now, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. We've been waiting the for the worst. Number one, worst haircut. Now, nah, who on that? Who on the, who on the, uh, the damn? Who on the damn? Uh, what is it, Thunder? I think on the Thunder. That man got a damn frelic, boy. Put that up here. That man, uh-uh. In oh, no. NBA history, I'm talking about Drew Gooden. What'd he do? Drew thought I don't it'd know be this a one. dope idea to What'd grow you do? something called the ducktail. A ducktail? kept one patch of hair on his entire head, and it looked disgusting. Yeah, and no one except for Drew thought that this was cool. When he showed up to training camp, his teammates tried to force him to shave it off, but Drew just couldn't do it. He'd tell them things like, I'm getting compliments, and the ladies love it. Wow. And there ain't no way in hell any lady said they loved it. Gotta be talking about blind chicks or something. Ah, but yo. This man didn't learn his lesson, because once he got traded to the Bulls, he transformed his look again. Into what? Somehow, it got worse. Get out of here. Out with the uh, worst beard I've ever seen. Uh, like, I, 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 I that's can't not the worst ever. What's going on here? You got you this got beard locks. Not only has the worst hair. <laughs> you got beard locks. My joint don't even grow. I don't cut or nothing. It just stays just like this. I'm not you even got hating. beardy I'm locks. Just straight facts. All right, beardy Tell locks. Me if I'm wrong. All right, I know that was good, but I promise you, I promise you, this video right here, Kenny Child versus Cash Nasty. It was crazy. They took me on a hell of a roller coaster ride. So click here to watch that. It goes to show you mentality is everything.